Can you um go into Thing Four's wallet and get me their credit card information? Record scratch. Excuse me. Wait, what? You want me to go inside Thing Four's wallet, right? Correct. And go get their credit card information for what? You want me to physically go inside of Thing Four's wallet, get out their credit card, give it to you, the whole information, because God knows what you're about to do with it, just so you can go get a hotel because you didn't want to stay at an Airbnb that you weren't supposed to be staying at in the first place. All I gotta do is put my mind, my mind, my mind. Is my face just so bright or is it the light? Is it the lighting? I guess I'm gonna find out after this video. I don't give a fuck how my skin looks. What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tyler Duff, and I'm back finally with another video. As y'all can see, I'm doing my video on the floor today. I just wanted to let y'all know that quarantine has affected my life so bad. Oh yeah, I have another dog, kinda. His name is Frankie. Hey, Frankie. So you can see the trash hasn't been taken out. You can see all this stuff on the counter. Quarantine has made me so depressed to where I have not even filmed or edited videos. But I'm here to give y'all a little rant video because why not? <laughs> Before we start this video, y'all, this is Andre Champagne wine. It's like $5 at Walmart or your local grocery store, whatever, maybe six, seven, depending on where you live. This champagne be really getting you. This is a good brand and trust me, Anthony works in uh, liquor distribution. So this bottle always goes out because people always buy them and it's actually decent and it'll get the job done. So if you're looking to drink something during your quarantine days, go ahead on. This is, this is it, Andre Champagne wine and trust me i'm an alcoholic <laughs> today y'all i'm going to be doing a rant about why i don't collaborate with youtubers and exposing youtubers that i don't like i'm not going to be using full names so you know i already know some of y'all are going to be speculating in the comment section below i guess y'all can do that if y'all want to but y'all will not get an answer out to moi i'm going to give y'all a story a quick story about this one time where i met up with youtubers and why I am so traumatized by this experience and why my friends are traumatized by this experience as well. So I'll drink to that. I'm gonna come up with code names. I may accidentally say their real names in this video because I'm very bad at sugarcoating things. I normally just say what I need to say and that's it because it just needs to be said. Y'all, I went to a YouTube convention. My good friend paid for the Airbnb that we were staying at, right? But it was three of us originally that was supposed to be staying in that Airbnb, me and thing one and thing two. Out came along thing three who also wanted to stay but this person was really, really bougie, right? So this Airbnb wasn't the best Airbnb ever, you know, it was, it let us stay in there while we could stay in there. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, thing three didn't like how ugly it was and said that there was rats crawling in a raw and cockroaches. But also, thing three was not supposed to stay in the Airbnb anyways, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're not paying for it, you know what I'm saying? So thing three was like, I can't stay here. There's cockroaches and rats in the wall. And I'm over here like, you weren't supposed to be staying here. Anyways, and plus, I didn't pay for this. <laughs> I have nothing against this person at all now. This is just a story that I can actually laugh at that, laugh about and just be in peace and harmony with it. But a lot of y'all ask me, why don't I collaborate with YouTubers or why I'm not hanging around a lot of YouTubers. If y'all see me around YouTubers and I actually do collaborate with them, they more than likely passed my test of, okay, you're cool, I fuck with you. But if you don't see me collaborate with YouTubers, it's probably because there's a problem. Um, Anyways, that was just a small disclaimer. But yeah, um, thing three was not supposed to be staying there. So thing one and thing two were like, excuse me, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? So thing three took it upon themselves to go get or look up another hotel Airbnb thingy. It was really nice. It was really bougie. Pool, everything. It was so nice. You know what I'm saying? But the rumors are true, y'all. YouTubers are very bougie outside of their own needs. There's another YouTuber that flew in with us who was going to stay with us as well. Thing four. Thing four flew out, but thing three wanted me to commit fraud. 
Thing three called me in the morning while I'm laying next to thing four. And thing three is saying, oh, can you um go into thing four's wallet and get me their credit card information? Record scratch, excuse me? Wait, what? You want me to go inside thing four's wallet, right? Correct? And go get their credit card information for what? I found a hotel that we could all stay at. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. I just, they just need a credit card information. I'll give them their card back. I'll give them the money back. Keep in mind, this Airbnb hotel that thing three was trying to get was $600. And I'm over here like, you want me to physically go inside of Thing 4's wallet, get out their credit card, give it to you, the whole information, because God knows what you're about to do with it, just so you can go get a hotel because you didn't want to stay at an Airbnb that you weren't supposed to be staying at in the first place because we're at a YouTube convention? Girl, you know what? I'm over it. I, I just, I can't. I'm not doing that. Uh, why won't you do it? Girl, anyways. So, Thing 2 and Thing 3 eventually get into an argument because Thing 3 cooked for us at our ratchet, rat, hot, whatever was in the walls, rats and cockroaches all over the place, Airbnb and left the dishes out. So they got into an argument. And I'm over here like, this is so traumatizing. That was just one. Thing 3 has gotten me in trouble before because there was this whole debacle about me on the internet that I took the blame for to try and save Thing 3's ass while Thing 3 also threw me underneath the bus, which also further internet crucified me um, if y'all have watched my channel and have been here for quite some time, you would realize that my <laughs> my content on my channel has switched up about five times. And for some strange reason, I still get views on this channel and I have no clue why. So I guess y'all really just enjoy watching me because girl, with the whole switch around, I'm like, okay, so that you did this, now you do this, now you do this, now you do that. Girl, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing on this channel. Anyways, why do y'all subscribe to me? <laughs> I was internet crucified because of thing three already, right? So I was able to swoop that underneath the rug. I was internet crucified because of this singer, this YouTube singer now, is scam thing three, but yet thing three wanted me to scam thing four out of credit card information. I'm over here like, I can't. YouTubers are scammers. YouTubers are scammers. Also, YouTubers think that they're better than everybody else. That is another time. I have met plenty of YouTubers who are very bougie and who think that they are better than themselves. And not saying any names, but there's just quite a few out there, especially in the gay community. I'm over here like, I think my mindset is back in like YouTube of 2014, YouTube in like 2013, because back then YouTube used to be popping and like everybody was able to make content and everybody was able to be happy and express themselves. Granted, YouTubers back then were still shady. Keep in mind, YouTubers were shady, but YouTube was also paying more back then and everybody and everything was a better place back then. Nowadays, YouTubers scam and think that they're better than everybody. How is it that you are in a community with content creators, especially wholesome people. You want to be worried about numbers or you want to be worried about your appearance all the time or you want to be like, da, da, da. what happened to getting on the internet, expressing yourself and showing things that genuinely... What? <sighs> Sorry, somebody was FaceTiming me. Yeah, YouTube used to be a place where people could express their lives, share things that go on in their life without having to feel like you're on top of the world or you're just better than anybody else. Like now everything has to be bougie. I have to get Gucci, I have to get Prada, I have to look good, I have to get my Louis Vuitton. And I'm over here like, girl, this hoodie was from H&M. This do-rag I've been using since like July from Walmart, it cost $2. When you meet up with YouTubers, not only do you jeopardize, like for instance, for me being in a relationship and jeopardize friendships, you jeopardize me going to jail because Tylen LaDuff likes to, I will fight. <laughs> I most definitely try and keep a level head throughout like everything. I really do. And the thing is that I try and give people the benefit of the doubt all the time. I don't knock it. I don't uh, go through like, oh, that person's messy. Da, 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 da. Don't, don't mess with them. Because people used to tell, uh, say things about me like, oh no, he's messy. Don't hang out with him. But once people actually hang out with me, they're like, oh wow, you're the complete opposite about what people would say about you. And I'm like, yeah, I, I am. Because on the internet, all you do is see 2% of YouTubers' lives, 
literally there's a whole 98 percent that you don't even know about at all so if you're seeing a youtuber who is completely toxic i'm talking about bringing down the house toxic i'm talking about like just acting the fucking fool just imagine them off camera but a lot of them be doing it for views but also i just don't like fake things me and anthony anthony and i's relationship is real we go through all the trials and tribulations of real relationships but a lot of these people get into relationships just to get into relationships and then it just blows up into their face because they were just doing it for youtube um and then people like to say things about your relationship meanwhile aren't you single haven't you been single for four years because nobody likes your toxic ass okay yeah and youtubers talk about each other all the time and i'm like why can't we be friends why can't we just be wholesome why can't we go play outside and go play fetch or something like bitch what is it to you if your ass is fatter than the next person why can't we all just get together create content and be fucking happy because i can let you know a community that sucks at doing that the black community oh don't even get me started on being black and gay because Good luck with that. <laughs> Honestly, it's a hit or miss. I've met so many great people on the internet. I've met so many great friends on the internet. It literally is a hit or miss. So whenever y'all are viewing things on the internet, please take into precaution on if it's real or not. Take into precaution if that person's actually messy because you just really just don't know. We're here to entertain. I'm here to get my bag. And the next person should be here to get their bag as well. I'm tired of meeting people who are just so unmotivated. I'm tired of just like, meeting people who take advantage of me like even friends that don't do youtube i mean y'all have watched my videos y'all have seen freaking andy and shit just take advantage of me but and some of y'all's big favorite youtubers are actually one of the worst ones there's youtubers like if i'm trying to make money moves right why am i charging you like a grand plus for a collaboration like i'm just like are you trying to get your rent paid like who are you again we're on the internet Russ, leave that fly alone. I have also been in, a, in an instance where a YouTube particular couple has asked if Ant and I wanted to do a foursome. They're no longer together, but it's like, y'all are so fucking weird. Am I in the wrong business? Maybe I'm not cut out for this. I love creating content and I love being on camera and I love talking to y'all. But y'all, this community is absolutely crazy. And I'm sitting in quarantine like, this is why I don't have friends. Um, anyways, I love y'all so much. I hope you guys enjoyed my mess in the background. Maybe I'll film like this more often because I really enjoyed sitting on the floor for once. This was actually nice instead of sitting on my couch. But yeah, I look cute today. What do y'all think? Do I look cute? Y'all think I look cute? <laughs> my big ass head. Anyways, I love y'all so much. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. This is why I don't collaborate with YouTubers. There's just so much of a mess going on within the community. And I just want to create my own community itself. Like, I want to turn my friends that don't have YouTube channels into YouTubers. But I've done that before and <laughs> taken advantage of that too in my last relationship. So, yeah. We'll see. I'll get it together. I love y'all so much. Um, Enjoy quarantine. Cash at me some money because I'm broke. My cash out will be in the description box below. I know y'all are broke too. I love y'all. We'll, we'll figure this out together. Deuces.